So the next thing we're going to do is show you how to take the image from the card, which is inserted in the side of the machine. Um, we've already played around with it with PE light, but we're now going to actually embroider it onto a piece of felt. You can use whatever fabric you desire. Just remember, if it's felt, you don't need a backing. Most of the fabrics you do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn it on at the side. Okay. We have our on off switch here we're then going to place in our card into the slot at the top make sure that it pops in the machine then asks us whether we can actually press the display the next thing that we'll do is it will move the carriage completely just press ok we're happy for it to do that when you do see the carriage move please be very very careful to make sure that you have inserted the embroidery hoop effectively because if you don't it will actually um, cause you a few issues a little bit later on so the first thing we're going to do we've inserted our card into the side we're going to see what is on the card now remember we can only put one piece of a design or one whole design onto the card at any one point this tells us what we have just taken off the screen we're going to press onto there first of all. Now the first thing it does is it has one of three colours. You can choose to ignore those colours if you desire. You can adjust it, you can change the thread colour if you wish, you can do a colour check if that's what you want to do. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to thread up this machine and get started. So first things first, again we're using a high quality embroidery thread so make sure that you are using the right one. We're going to go around the top following the arrows up and over then we're going to go round again up and over and then simply what we're going to do is make sure that that goes through our needle. Again, we pull it over to the left hand side, exactly the same as our other machine. Close the lid over, we're now ready to start. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drop that presser foot down. The machine tells us that that's ready to start too. So again, we're going to start. We're then going to stop because that's now locked in. And then simply what we're going to do is we're going to cut off that excess thread. So we take off our excess thread because we don't want that to get tangled in anything else. It's moved on to our next colour. If we wanted to change the colour we would do it at this point. We press go again and off we go.
completed a very simplified version of the rushes. The final thing that we're going to do is put the lettering around the outside. Again, you can change the colour at this point if you don't wish to. Press start and off we go. it do it on a scrap piece of fabric first. Please be aware that there are advantages and disadvantages 